Hey everybody, Neil McNeil here, and I'm joined today by my good friend James Chess. James Chess, that's me. James Chess, hi. I want to say the last collab I filmed was the one with you. Is that right? <laughs> I don't remember. Other than Lizzie, who I collab with like every other video, because you know we live together. Um, you, I think you were my last collab. Oh yeah, well I Possibly. don't count August because I also live with him too. Yeah. So <laughs> significant others excluded. I'm pretty sure you were my last collab. So I've never done a gay lingo video, and neither have you. Correct. And you've never seen one, right? No, I've avoided them because I've wanted to do one myself. Excellent. Being completely uneducated. Okay, good. On so gay culture. For this video, I'm gonna quiz James on the different <laughs> gay terms that I found using my own brain and the internet. Um, a lot of these I actually haven't heard of before. Oh, so interesting. So this was like a learning experience for me. <laughs> if you don't know, use like logical reasoning because mm. I'm not saying that it's gonna be right, but I'm saying it's gonna be hilarious for a lot of these. Awesome. <laughs> so we got the first one on my list. We're gonna start off easy. Fruit fly. Fruit fly. Um, uh, okay, so f fruit is fruity. Fruit. Yes, so it is quite fruity. Is, <laughs> is it, and flies are annoying? Is it a very annoying fruity gay person? <laughs> no. <laughs> Most times it's a female who attracts gay men as friends. So like oh. a female who surrounds herself oh. with mostly gay men. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I was super close. You were like, su you were like in the ballpark. You were sitting in the seats, you weren't on the field, but you were in the ballpark. I was probably more in the parking lot. Yeah, oh, you were waiting. Lost. You were, you were tailgating. <laughs> Do you know what it is when someone is a gold star gay? Oh my god, I am so uncultured. Um, Think about it, why would you get a gold star for being gay? Oh. Oh, is that uh, someone who is, like, very braggy about <laughs> How gay they are? About gay they are? <laughs> Kind of ish. It's a person. It's a it's a person who identifies as gay who has never been with a member of the opposite gender sexually. Gold star. Oh, I was not even close. Do you know what a chapstick lesbian is? Is it okay? Is it a girl that wants to experiment so they kiss another girl to taste the chapstick? That's I feel like that could be. I mean, in a Katy Perry world, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> but for the sake of this video, a chapstick lesbian is like a more athletic female who oh. the only makeup she wears is chapstick. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. She's like, she's like, she takes care of herself, but only so much. It's like a soft butch. Do you know what an otter is? I do know, because I have been uh, described <laughs> as an otter in the comment section of my videos. It's a, a, a hairy, but still like slender. Yeah. Gay man. Exactly. You're not quite a cub. You will never be a bear. Correct. You're an otter. Yeah. That's how I know. Is I've been <laughs> it's because you otter. are one. Do you know what throwing shade is? Throwing shade is like calling someone out and being like, yeah, you're terrible. Yeah. No. Well, it's more like um, it's more like taking a jab at someone, oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. being like more subtle about it. If someone were to describe you as sickening, what would that mean? I feel like I would be offended by that. No. Like. No, no, not at all. Especially like in terms of like drag queens. Ooh, that move was sickening. Like that was awesome. Like that was so good. That I am sick. Okay. You make me want to barf. You're so good. Like in the bro community, like sick. Uh, yeah. It's kind of like that where it's like, oh, like that was awesome, but also like that was awesome. Got it. Got the. You got, you got, you got the you little, add that. The jazzy snap in there. Oh, got jazzy it. snap. <gasps> oh. Jazzy. She's right there. <laughs> that is the ship name between me and my lady friend who is right there. <laughs> that is for the, all the people that are like, what are they talking about? If someone also going along the same lines, if someone were to say they're gagging. Now I'm confused because sickening is a good thing. <laughs> so is that a good thing? Yeah, it's a good thing. It's kind of like um, a reaction to someone being sickening. Where it's like, oh, that was so sickening, I'm gagging. If someone were to ask you, what's the T? What's the T? The top? It's like, <laughs> it's what's going on. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's like, give me the T on you. Like, tell me everything. Do you know what a hunty is? A hunty. Oh, God, I've heard this. Hunty is just like friends. Kind of. It's like, like, it's like calling your, like, it's like saying honey, but also saying the C word. Oh. It's like combined. Oh, okay. So you're being kind of a, like a bitch. Oh. You're like, hunty. If I were to go basket shopping, what would I be doing? I mean, the literal sense of that <laughs> is you would be going to shop for a basket. Yeah, that's not a what it store, means. But I, I understand <laughs> that that is not 
at all what it means. I'm terrified of this. You should be. Do you know when you can kind of see a, like, a, like do you know what a moose knuckle is? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so it's like essentially like going out and looking at dudes and wondering and trying to see if they have moose knuckles. So you're going out and like cruising for D. Go to any like basketball court when like the guys are playing. That's like prime basket shopping. Prime real estate. That is. For bas okay, that's good to know. That is like the Saks Fifth Avenue of dicks. <laughs> You don't you don't buy anything per se, but like you go there to like it's like window shopping for dicks. Uh, okay. If I were to say um, my nickname is Tinkerbell or I am a Tinkerbell, is it you're super sassy and because I mean Tinkerbell's a sassy Disney character. It's a gay man who likes to be peed on. Oh, that's a Tinkerbell. Oh. Yeah. That ruined my childhood. Oh, Tink. <laughs> if I were to tell you that last night I was a lucky Pierre, what would I have been doing? I'm assuming it's a sexual act. Yes. Okay, I'm getting a French vibe here. Yes. Where do I go from there? <sighs> I'd want to say nowhere but up, but um... Do you know what an Eiffel Tower is? Yes, I do. It's the guy in the middle. Yep. Oh, oh! He's the lucky Pierre. Oh, okay. He's being spit roasted by two dudes. Good lord. Oh, that is. That is. That is an image. That, that is, is an image that's in my mind. You are gonna have that in there for a while. I was on the right track, and then I got lost along the way. You were there, ish. And finally, if I were to call you a Hetty, what would that mean? Well, I'm thinking that it has to do with hetero. Mm -hmm. a, a Hetty. Um, that's what it is. It's a hetero. It's like, oh, it's, okay. like a, it's like an offensive term oh, for okay. heterosexuals. It's gotcha. Like, look at that heady over there. Look at that heady. Look at that heady. <laughs> that heady right there. Okay, so you did a good job. Okay. You used you used uh -huh. um, deductive reasoning to uh, come up to, to some semi-accurate conclusions. conclusions. Yes, you just you did come up with conclusions. Honestly, really excited that you you uh, you asked me about otter mm -hmm. just because I <laughs> do know that you were very excited about that. I was like, that's me. <laughs> All right, so Whew. I'm glad you got educated though, I, on the rest of these terms. I am, I'm mostly glad I have that information. There's some images. Knowledge. There's some images, yes. And now they're in all of your heads too, so <laughs> yep. you're welcome. Yay, internet videos. We're about to shoot a video for James's channel too. We're yes. gonna talk all about Once Upon a Time, so it, not at all related to this. Nope, not even close. <laughs> go check out James's video, go subscribe to him, subscribe to the me. Uh, I fucked that up. <laughs> subscribe to the me. Then subscribe to me while you're at it, if you are yeah, caught if you, here. If you're from me, subscribe. What are you doing? Like, stay here. Do it forever. forever. Don't leave. Ever. Give this video a big ol' thumbs up, and until next time, I will catch up with your nerds. Bye. I've never heard this. Let's have a kitchen. I want to have a kitchen. Die, turn, work. Let's have a kitchen. We are going to serve and work and turn and hunt, hunt, honey. Oh, yeah, no, I've never heard that before in my life.